is your first alert five weather with Jessica Van Meter. Welcome back. 614 on your Sunday morning. We've got some beautiful skies as we head towards sunrise in about 25 minutes. Some stunning light getting going looking southeast from Pikes Peak. We'll see a lot of clear skies for the sunrise this morning, and then clouds will be moving in after that. Now, we had a lot of melting yesterday afternoon with a combination of some sunshine and some above freezing temperatures, so roads are looking a lot better so far this morning. Normal drive along I-25, some big improvements, no near blizzard-like conditions like we saw early yesterday morning on Highway 50, especially out towards the Kansas border. Highway 24, also a lot of improvements so for today. So roadways are better as you head out. You still want to watch out for some of those slick spots. View it. Icy patches, especially some backside roads that maybe started to melt yesterday, refroze overnight. Still watch out for those areas. Main roads should be good to go this morning. We are going to stay dry for today, but clouds will be increasing, mainly those high, thin clouds moving in from the west. And we do have some milder temperatures ahead to continue that melting trend. For today, we're still below average in Colorado Springs. We'll make it into the low 40s. A nice jump in temperatures as we get into the start of the work and school week, though. Low 50s on Monday, upper 50s on Tuesday. We are going to see a cold front knock our temperatures back a little bit on Wednesday. It'll be brief though. We're right back to the 50s on Thursday. For Pueblo, still a little below average today. We're back into the 50s. Even some low 60s on Tuesday should be a milder work and school week ahead for us. As far as today goes, we have those clear skies right now. We're watching this area of clouds back towards areas of Utah. We're starting to see a little bit of that cloud cover filter into western areas of Colorado. That'll be heading our way, so those high clouds will be moving in as we go throughout the day, so sun won't be quite as abundant as it was yesterday afternoon. Noon. Temperatures today still a touch below average, but above freezing everywhere in the 30s to the higher elevation areas of Teller, northern El Paso County should make it into the low 40s for most areas right around Colorado Springs down towards Pueblo. More temperatures in the 40s again, still a little below average for this time of year and the clouds will be with us. Highs today mainly in the 40s. We get a nice jump in those temperatures for tomorrow, about 10 degrees warmer. In fact, still a little bit of cloud cover at times, but those 50s will certainly feel very nice. It's also going to mean we'll do even more melting as we get into the work and school week again. Still going to be watching for refreezing each night, though, especially with those low temperatures dipping down mainly into the teens and 20s each night. Tuesday going to be a nice warm one for us in the upper 50s. We do cool off a little bit on Wednesday with some breezy conditions. Highs only in the upper 40s there. Nice warm up in time for Thursday with some windy conditions. Our next chance at any snow showers looks to hold off until Friday right now, and it's not looking very impressive at this point. Pueblo will be in the 40s for today. A nice warm up for most of the work and school week ahead. We'll even be in the low 60s on Tuesday. That'll feel great. Friday is going to be our next chance for any precipitation potential. Around Canyon City, 40s for today, 50s, even a few low 60s for days like Tuesday and Thursday. 40s return as we get into the end of the week and again, that chance for any snow holding off until Friday. Woodland Park in the 30s for today. We'll do some melting over the next several days with highs getting into the 40s throughout the work and school week. We'll keep an eye on Friday for that snow chance. Again, not looking terribly impressive or widespread right now, but something we'll watch.